mean, how is it safe when somebody can be shot and killed in their own home? A vigil tonight to remember Andrew Finch, who died one year ago because of a fake 911 call. Now lawmakers are working to develop legislation to prevent those calls from happening. This is dangerous. This is serious. This is not a joke. And if you do it, you are going to go to jail. Police shot and killed Finch at his home in Wichita. They thought they were responding to a murder and hostage situation. They say Finch wasn't following commands and was reaching for his waistband. Right now, Katie Johnston is live outside Andrew Finch's home. Katie, what's changed in the past year? Well, Kansas and a handful of other states now have stricter laws punishing those who are behind making these swatting calls. But even the lawmakers who are behind Kansas's specific version of this law say it's not enough. Just pointing the gun at them, making sure they stay in the closet. It would make it a lot easier if this was a federal crime. What happened to Andrew Finch in 2017 sparked a national momentum to pass laws punishing the person responsible for making the swatting call. So far, three lawmakers from three states introduced three different bills to Congress but none of them made it out of the House. We need federal statutes there. Representative John Carmichael, alongside Patty Markley and John Whitmer, introduced Kansas's anti-swatting bill, the Andrew Finch Act. It was obvious to a number of us that Kansas law was not prepared to deal with this new technology crime. Before the call that led to Finch's death, Kansas law listed this type of crime as a prank call. It was a misdemeanor or low-level felony. When a call like this results in death or harm to someone, there needs to be a punishment that fits that type of crime, right? And in just a few months, the bill passed increasing the penalty to different levels of felonies, including murder. But not all states have the same law. The only reason why people have been getting away with it is just because the, um, the internet can be a wild west. It's very hard to track people. It's very hard to, you know, pin something down. Viet Hong owns Next Level Cafe, a lounge for gamers to enjoy drinks, snacks, and socializing while gaming. He says the number of people who SWAT is very small, but he thinks having laws in place punishing the act will help prevent it. Something like this should have been done. This is dangerous. This is serious. This is not a joke. And if you do it, you are going to go to jail. The vigil to remember Andrew Finch starts here at the Finch family home in just a couple of minutes, rather 30 minutes, uh, and then the family is planning on holding a moment of silence right at 7.03, the moment Andrew Finch was shot and killed last year.